Hey guys, welcome back to iPhone Spies. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch running on the 3.1 firmware. Now, this is the first Ponish tool that the dev team has released. And uh, basically, with the 3.1 firmware, they updated the baseband, so it's a lot harder to jailbreak now. So the dev team will be releasing jailbreaks in increments when they get to it, basically. This jailbreak will only work for the iPhone 3G, the original iPhone, or the first generation iPod Touch. If you have anything else, it will not work. Again, that's the iPhone 2G, iPhone 3G, or iPod Touch first generation. Alright, so before we get started, let me tell you what you need. You will need your iPhone or iPod Touch upgraded to firmware 3.1, obviously. And you will also need two things. You'll need Ponage Tool and the firmware IPSW file. I'll include links in the article over at iPhone Spies, so you can check that out. But yeah, before you get started, make sure you're at this step. And also have your iPhone or iPod Touch connected to your computer. In this case, it's a Mac, because right now, this is only for the Mac OS. All right, so let's get started. We've downloaded everything. We have our iPhone, in our case it's an iPhone 3G, we have our iPhone 3G connected to the Mac. So open up the Ponage tool. Uh, it might give you a message like this, just ignore it, click open anyways. Alright, okay, and then here it's, I mean this is all very intuitive, so here go ahead and select whatever device you have. We have the iPhone 3G, so we're going to pick that. Click here to continue. Now this will automatically find the restore file on your computer, so it already did. Just click that once, make sure it's checked. Hit continue again. Uh, it'll tell you this will create a custom IPSW file. So if you don't know what the jailbreaking process does, it basically modifies a few files within your firmware file. And then it uploads that custom firmware into your device. Alright, so this step is probably going to take a while, so might cut the video short for this, for the duration here. And do you have an iPhone 3GS or 3G or 3GS contact that you would no activate normally through iTunes? So did you get your iPhone from AT&T? In our case, yes, we did. So we're going to hit yes. It's going to be building, so uh, we'll cut out right now. Alright, so it's done, and you'll get this message, and it'll ask you, has your iPhone 3G been pwned before? And if, you, if you're if you unsure, just click no, and in our case, it actually hasn't been, so no. Alright, this step teaches you how to put the device into DFU mode. DFU mode is basically the mode in which the iPhone can have its firmware changed. It's called uh, device file upload or something like that. Forget. But um, at this step, if you don't, if you've never done this before, I suggest you watch our video on how to put your device into DFU mode. And but if you think you can get it the first time through, this will just teach you. It's pretty. It's pretty basic process. Uh, I won't go over that again this time around. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn my device off. It's taking a while. Hold on. Success. Uh, iTunes opens up. Okay, just click OK and ignore that. Alright, okay, and uh, that's it for the Ponish tool portion. Now we're just going to go into iTunes. And we're going to hit Restore, but we're going to hit Control Restore because we have to find the custom firmware that we built.
or is it command restore? No, cancel that. Stand by. Option restore? There we go, it's option restore. Sorry about that, I'm not used to using a Mac either. All right, see our custom restore IPSW? It's already made. Just choose that, and you'll see. There you go, that's, that's all you have to do. Now I just sit back and just wait. <clears throat> if your iPhone doesn't explode, then uh, you've successfully done it. This is a good, I mean, the, the odds are pretty good it'll be successful, like some 10% or something. No, I'm just kidding. 